right now I'm just going to put the pressure suit on and then install it into the seat um, and that requires plugging in all my systems. So this can take a while, but here we go. I became interested in building pressure suit when I started thinking, well, I won't be going to space, I won't be going to Mars, but I will try to go as close as I can. <laughs> I have a budget at Ace Hardware of $20 a weekend. And I've put in basically a year of research and then uh, three years of building. I looked at a dozens of patents and dozens of NASA reports, and I started to realize how essentially simple the pressure suit was. And then I started to realize oh, I can actually build this myself. I can make one of these that I'm willing to, to stake my life on uh, myself. I was foolish. I made the zipper go down. <laughs> I need to reverse the zipper so it comes up because I can't reach it. So, my mom happens to be in town and how many people get to be put into their pressure suit by mom? <laughs> people have uh, occasionally said that this is uh, it's obviously dangerous. Some people have suggested maybe it's beyond dangerous and into uh, foolhardy. Um, uh, I disagree. I think that uh, that is said out of ignorance of how essentially simple the system is. We have this idea that the only people who can do this is NASA or highly funded research arms or the Air Force or whoever who's got all this money. The helmet goes on and uh, bayonet closes it. Uh, do a test of my breathing gas. <laughs> and they don't know anything about the history of those five years before the war where people built these and they worked. Breathing gas is now coming in automatically. One PSI. If they could build these from rubberized canvas and these very few components in the 1930s, surely 70 years later, I can do the same here at home. And so that's the end of one uh, pressure test. And uh, I didn't run the cooling system today. There's a tiny leak. Uh, and tiny leaks are exactly the battle the constant battle is knocking out little tiny leaks and it's one screw and um, uh, actually I fixed the screw and then uh, then the uh, hose unplugged by itself so tiny details like that are what I'm knocking out piece by piece one by one weekend by weekend <laughs>